Hello my lovelies. Um, I have a quick little project for you today. Very easy. Um, and it's something that you can just still make in bulk if you don't have a lot a lot of time to do your crafting. This is the perfect little project. So what you need is six by six papers and glue. That's it. Optional is corner rounder um, hole punch for doing notches. And if you want, this is what it looks like. If you want those little danglies here, of course you need beads and stuff like that. And just a few tools. But you don't need that to make this project today. Uh, first of all, oh, there's glue at the top here. Sorry about that. Doesn't matter. First of all, I'm going to show you what we're going to make. Pockets like this one. Um, and basically it just wraps around the page so you have two pockets here that's actually a pocket at the back here and two pockets here there's a pocket there that's it very easy i'll just show you so it's just folding this up you can do it's of course better if you have double sided but it doesn't matter because like this one i put washi tape here if you don't want the white glaring at you um and of course you can do it like this i'll try to do it i haven't done one where i've folded it up all the way so i'll try that So it's basically just folded in half both ways, like this. That's it, basically. And of course, if you want the notches, I, I use this one because I think it's nicer than the half circle this is for my envelope maker but i like this shape that's it and all you then need is of course if you want to ink the edges you do that now just to make it easy and no, I'm not gonna ink. And then just glue on each, each side. Uh, if you could do a straight line, that would be fine. I can't. And that's it. That is it. Very quick and easy. And then of course, if or when you need this, you can just make them like this. Um, and then decide when you want to, when you have a project you want to use them for. You can of course push them all the way in. I like to make a little room here so I can have a little dangly thingy. And then you can decide if you want. Here obviously I can't make, well I could make two pockets but 
for this one I think I would make a pocket here and then this pocket here but of course it's up to you whatever you want to do uh, for example this one I could put this on here so it also works as a tap oh. Oh, oh, straight on there we go so I can glue here and here so I have a pocket here and of course that one and that's it it's so easy but it's really I've, uh, I've become a bit addicted to them at the moment so that was quick wasn't it um another quick thing make a circle of a book page i have these dies because i think the whole punch as you can see this is a very old one they are a bit expensive if you want all sizes so i just bought this one because i have the c6 um but even if you don't you can still use the um, the dies take a rolling pin and put pressure on and you can uh, actually cut them that way uh, for this one again fold up about well it doesn't matter you don't have to measure and again fold over on this one i would probably choose to ink because then you can see where one <coughs> pocket begins and and where the next one begins as well There we go, and maybe this side as well. <coughs> also quick and easy. So this one is a corner pocket. There we are. Just a little one at the corner of the page, and of course you only glue it at the bottom you can glue it here but that's not necessary just glue at the bottom and then you have two pockets one here and one here again very simple or you can whoop, hang on put it on the top and again have a couple of pockets there so quick and easy you can make them out of book pages um, maps yeah anything even uh, six by six papers that was it for today I think because I'm a bit busy tonight so I just wanted to come on and show you a quick and easy project sometimes we need quick and easy not to be overwhelmed and that was it folks but just before I go I would really love if you could give me a thumbs up please or subscribe if you like the content I'm just starting out so there will be more and I'll try to do it more consistently maybe once a week for now but I am doing a little happy dance every time someone subscribes or likes or even comments it means a lot to me just wanted you to know that and I'll 